Dr. Mason Champion YouTube blog channel. In this article, I'm going to demonstrate Process Builder Part 50 Auto Lead Convert Blog. So when there is a chance of further negotiation with a lead, it can be converted into an account, contact, optional in opportunity. In short, once the lead status has reached a certain stage, it can be qualified as a potential. On conversion, all the lead details are transferred in creating an account, contact, optional in opportunity. Lead conversion process is a manual process. If you want to automate it, then you have to use Apex Trigger. This article will help you to understand how to automate lead conversion process using the process builder. Let's start with a business use case. Pamela is working as a system administrator in Universal Container. She has received a requirement to auto convert a lead when lead rating field changed to hot and only create an account and contact. So she don't want to create an opportunity. There are a few possible solutions for our business scenario. For like example, we can either use Apex Trigger, we can use process combination of process, flows and Apex, trick, Apex class and Apex class or process. So we will use Apex class and process to solve it. With proceeding ahead, you have to understand lead convert class in Salesforce. Lead convert class contains information used for lead conversion. To call an Apex method from process builder, add Apex action to your process and then select an Apex class with an at the rate invocable method annotation. It allows us to accent the process builder by writing Apex code that meets the criteria and then invoking the Apex from our process. If the class contains one or more invocable variable, we can manually enter values or reference field from a related record. At the rate invocable method annotation support bulk operation. Okay. Now we have to understand Apex annotation that is at, at the rate invocable method. This annotation let us use an Apex method as being something that can be called from somewhere other than Apex. The at the rate. Okay. Next step is we have to create an Apex class. To create an Apex class, just type here Apex class in the quick find, and you can see the link here. So we are going to create a new Apex class that is called like auto convert lead class contain a single method that is passing the IDs of the lead whose rating changed to hot. So you can get this code from my blog post or the description of this YouTube video. You can see this is the public class name as auto convert leads and it's we are using as a at the rate invocable method so we can use this class from process builder or flows next is you can see here i'm using here lead id list sorry ID, list of id and that is i'm passing through process builder next is under line number six using as object type of lead status the lead status represents the status of a lead such as open, qualified, or converted. And then defining a, uh, a list of data database.convert. And now we are using a for loop to bulkify this code. So uh, in the line number nine, I'm just defining here, I'm just defining a uh, list, sorry, as object called the database.lead convert type. And then here I'm set the lead ID. So this set lead ID allows you to set the ID of the lead to convert. And in the line number 11, you can see set convert status. It allows you to the set lead status value for a converted lead. And here I don't want to create an opportunity. I use set don't create opportunity. And then I'm adding this as object into a list that I've defined here in the line number seven and line number 15 just check here if this mask lead can is not empty then process this lead and convert the lead in the bulk 
So this class will work for either a single lead or 100 or 200 when you are updating a lead through data uploader. So click on the save. So class gets created. Our next step is to create a process. To create a process builder, just click here and type process builder in the quick find. And then select process builder from here. So this is the process management page from where you can either manage existing process and you can create either create a new one. To create a new process, just click on new here and enter the process name. I'm entering auto convert you. Sorry. Please. And block description. I'm entering a block 50. And click on the save. We can use any name. Okay. The first step is we have to choose object on which you want to define this process so as it's a lead so just click on the object and type here lead so we have two options either we can trigger this process at the time of lead creation or any time a lead gets created or edited so we have to select the when a lead created or edited and click on the savior next we have to define the add criteria process criteria basically we want to check when this process will trigger only when the lead rating field equal to hot so type here lead rating equals to hot and then click on the find a field lead rating equals to hot you don't uh, in the advanced you can see you can select do you want to execute this x and only when specified changes are made to the record don't select this because after conversion of the lead you cannot con you cannot update a lead so we don't have to select this option next step is we have to define an immediate action to call our apex class that we have defined you click on the add action here and then select apex and enter the name action name auto convert lead class execution again you can change this name as you want and then under a point a class you can type if you have multiple we have only single so you can see only class that use at the rate of invocable annotation invocable method annotation will appear here and then the next step is we have to pass the lead id to the variable that we have used in our apex class so just click on the add row and it will display the lead id is here that is the variable we have defined the very beginning of our apex class and then reference here and find a field we are using reference because of the runtime we want to dynamically get the lead id and passing it to the apex class so type here lead and select lead id and then choose here and click on the save and click on the activate and go back to setup here and go to the lead I don't have any lead, so let me create a new one. The company name of me. Corporation. Uh, lead status open. No phone number or website. You can enter the city Alpharetta. This is my current city, so Georgia. And then my pin code and click on the save okay next step is we have to change the lead rating to hot so let me just edit this lead and change the rating to hot and click on the save here so you can see 
you get the conversion lead message here and lead watch converted on this in account get created and contact you can see uh, at my corporation i have used the company name so salesforce used that as the account name and my first and last name that i have used lead that is as a contact if you go to this account you can see that account gets created as a lead conversion